welcome back to the channel. Today we're excited to share with you the latest update from the GNOME project which has just released GNOME 46.3. This is the third maintenance update to their GNOME 46 Catman Do desktop environment series, bringing a host of improvements and bug fixes. Let's dive into what's new in this release and why it matters. GNOME is a popular desktop environment used by many Linux users around the world. It provides a graphical interface for interacting with your computer, making it easier to use. With GNOME 46.3, the developers have focused on enhancing performance, fixing bugs, and adding small but impactful improvements. If you use multiple virtual monitors, you'll be pleased to know that GNOME 46.3 has made significant performance improvements in this area. This means smoother transition and less lag when you're working with several virtual screens at once. IBUS, which stands for Intelligent Input Bus, is a key input method framework for Linux. It's essential for typing in different languages and using special input methods. GNOME 46.3 has improved how IBUS works in pop-up menus, making it more reliable and efficient. For users who run their system without a display, also known as headless setup, GNOME 46.3 now supports hardware accelerated rendering. This feature leverages your computer's graphics hardware to speed up processing, even when there is no screen attached, ensuring better performance in various applications. GNOME 46.3 has brought back support for legacy X11 Cursor teams. This means if you have older Cursor teams that you love, you can now use them again without any issues. The Activities Overview is a central part of the GNOME interface, allowing you to see all your open windows and applications. In this update, the animation for when windows overlap workspaces has been smoothed out, providing a more polished and seamless experience. The GNOME Control Center is where you manage all your system settings. Here are some notable updates. The mouse page in the mouse and touchpad panel has been updated. Now the mouse test click indicator no longer responds to middle clicks, which helps in avoiding accidental clicks and improves usability. The sharing panel has been tweaked to work better with the Orca screen reader. Orca is a screen reader that helps visually impaired users by reading out screen elements. With this update, Orca now correctly reads the add folder row in the media sharing settings, making it more accessible. There have been small but important improvements to the network panel, making it more intuitive and user-friendly. GNOME Software is the application used for managing your software and updates, in version 46.3. The Install All button is now displayed only for codecs, which are used for playing various media formats. This helps prevent unnecessary bulk installations. The App Origin now prefers vendor name from the operating system release providing more accurate and helpful information. The Epiphany web browser, also known as GNOME Web, has been updated to version 46.2, with improved robustness of the password manager, ensuring your saved passwords are handled more securely. A fix for a crash that occurred when the main resource response wasn't ready, making the browser more stable. GNOME Initial Setup is the tool that guides you through setting up your GNOME environment for the first time in version 46.3. The summary page now uses an embedded theme icon for the checkmark, which looks better on high resolution displays. The keyboard page has been fixed to prevent crashes. Account name customization is now more reliable, ensuring your chosen username is set up correctly. Orca, the screen reader for visually impaired users, has received several important updates in version 46.2. It can now set the caret text cursor in right tables more accurately for better navigations. Fixes for bugs that prevents the correct presentation of the new caret location. Reduce chattiness from page load events, especially from embedded ads, making it less noisy. Improve presentation of ARIA dialogue titles. Added support for notification on the XFCE desktop by mapping XFCE4 notified to the notification daemon script. The GNOME Sudoku game no longer supports the show possible values options in the help menu. This change streamlines the game and removes unnecessary features. 
version 3.50.3 of GNOME Online accounts has improved WebDAV support for accounts with app passwords, making it easier to sync and manage your online accounts. The GNOME Text Editor 46.3 received a fix for a trivial build error, ensuring smoother performance and stability. For those using the GNOME shell on mobile, the Calls app has been updated to version 46.3, addressing two significant crashes. One crash occurred when the modem had no location services. Another crash happened when SIP handles were never set up. All these updates and improvements in GNOME 46.3 show the dedication of the GNOME project to continuously enhance user experience. This release is now available in the stable software repository of popular Linux distributions like Fedora Linux 40, Arch Linux and OpenSUSE Stumbleweed. Make sure to update your installation to enjoy all these new features and improvements. And as always, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more updates on the latest Linux news. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with GNOME 46.3, leave a comment below. See you on the next one.